Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. Today in our first video we will talk about the Monkey D. Luffy crew. If they all ate an Akuma Nomi, the author revealed what would be the ideal power of each of them. But what is the perfect fruit for each Mujiwara? Let's talk about it in today's video. This is our first video, so I hope you can like it and subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot, so I count a lot on your subscription, and I liked it. Guys, as we know a lot of the Straw Hat crew already has the power of an Akuma no Mi. At some point in their history they got the power of a fruit and they managed to understand and dominate that power. So before we go directly to the best Akuma no Mi options for other members who don't have it, let's take a quick look at each member who already has their fruit. Starting with Captain Monkey D. Luffy himself, he owns Goma Goma no Mi, the paramecia type fruit that turns his body into rubber and allows him to stretch at will in addition to making him immune to various types of blows. We also have Nico Robin, the archaeologist who owns the fruit Hana Hana no Mi, the paramecia fruit that allows her to generate parts of her body wherever she wishes. In addition, our Nakama Dr. Tony Tony Chopper also possesses the power of an Akuma no Mi, the Hito Hito no Mi fruit, the power of the human, a zoan that allowed him to transform. Not only that, but the Mujiwara's musician also has the power of an Akuma no Mi, in Brooke's case he has Yomi Yomi no Mi, a paramecia that allowed him to revive and accomplish feats about human. Now going straight to Luffy's monkey crew members, we'll see which Akuma no Mi best suits the skills of each crew member. During Chapter 994 they asked Oda Sensei which Akuma no Mi would be ideal for Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji and Frankie to own, and basically he answered the following. Zoro would use Uo Uo no Mi in the Sirayu model. Akuma no Mi from Kedu, for Nami a Goro Goro no Mi, for Usopp a Poke Poke no Mi, already for Sanji a Sui Sui no Mi and for Frankie a Bookie Bookie no Mi. So Zoro's basically said that it would be cool for his sword to turn into a dragon. Nami's would be the fruit of the storm. Usopp the fruit of infinite pockets that all over your body. Sanji's would allow him to slide down walls or the floor, even swim on the floor, while Frankie would finally allow him to create new weaponry all over his body. But now that the Oda has revealed what the perfect fruit would be, the ideal fruit for the members of the Straw Hats. Now let's talk about which we believe are the best for each member of the Mujiwaras in our opinion. Let's start with the crew swordsman, the former pirate hunter Roranoa Zoro. As we know Zoro is determined to be the greatest swordsman in the world, surpassing all swordsman techniques, even promising never to lose a duel before achieving his goal. We've seen Zoro facing the biggest battles of his life, always using his swords, to the point that today he is with Enma facing Kaido together with his companions. We see Mr. Bushido always evolving, learning Learning hockey to strengthen his skills and becoming more and more resistant and powerful, even more after his most difficult battles that motivated him to train more and more. As he is a great swordsman and wants to become even bigger, obviously his Akuma no Mi should be linked to this skill, so for Zoro, a perfect fruit would have a power that amplifies his skills, so it would be great to have a paramecia capable of somehow increasing your speed. After all speed is a key point in the battles that Zoro has been facing against other swordsmen, even being a strong point of his Santorio, and could go much further. In addition, another power that could also be useful to Zoro in his confrontations would be a fruit able to feel the approach of any physical object of his body, something similar to the observation hockey, but only to feel approaches in battles and thus Zoro could already predict and deal with your opponent's attacks more instinctively. Even so, with all these possibilities, Zoro is a character that possibly would not accept the power of an Akuma no Mi, in fact, he would see this as something on his way to becoming the strongest, accepting no external power to increase your power. The use of hockey is a skill acquired through training, so it is part of the natural strength of a swordsman, in this case the natural strength of Zoro, as the Akuma no Mi would be a power that he possibly would not want to use to make his dream come true, after all it was acquired externally. Now we go with the Straw Hat Crew Cook. Sanji as I said is a cook, one of the best in the world and joined the Straw Hats not only after recognizing the strength and determination of Luffy and Zoro, but also to pursue his dream, find the All Blue. So while searching for the Chief's Paradise, Sanji greatly improved his fighting style, which, like Zeph, was based only on kicks. Not only that, but the two had superhuman strength at their feet, and Sanji even got to the point of kicking so hard and quickly that he even heats his legs, creating the Diabol Jam, which Sanji can use without getting burned, after all the proximity of a cook and the fire is gigantic. As we know, our prince wanted the fruit of invisibility, which he will not be able to own. Furthermore, for his culinary skills, the mere Nomi would also be great, but we know that this fruit that once belonged to Ace, today was inherited by his brother Sabo, at last cannot be acquired by Sanji. 
So, thinking about fighting, perhaps the ideal would be a skill that would increase his stamina, and consequently, increase the strength of his movements even further, and lessen any limitations that the Sanji might have in his kicks, however much he currently has a strength about human. Moreover, something that increases his resistance, or a logic to prevent him from receiving attacks would also be good for him, after all Sanji is the member that most focuses on melee attacks at close range, so an Akuma no Mi who can work alongside from Bosa Shoko Haki to make it stronger. Now we have Usopp, the Mujiwara sniper, son of Yasup, the Shanks crew sniper. Usopp had always dreamed of being a pirate, at the same time that from the beginning he had a gigantic ability to shoot with his slingshot, and when using a cannon for the first time in his life, he hit without difficulty. Now Usopp is even able to use the observation hockey and further amplify his ability, and also the items he creates. Now for Usopp who as I said, already has the observation hockey and an excellent aim, he doesn't really need an Akuma no Mi for that, even, there is even an excellent Akuma no Mi, which allows you to mark the target by touching your hand. In this case this is Mato Mato no Mi, however it is already being used by Vander Decker, so Usopp, he could have an Akuma no Mi that would allow him, after touching one of his projectiles, to redirect his trajectory after launched, this would be that that would most fit him. Now we're going to talk about Nami, the straw hat navigator, who has a gigantic ability, being able to easily predict the weather. And directly linked to that, it has its climb attack, and its different variations, which also involve the weather. But another skill that Nami has always tried to develop, was to move silently in a stealthy way, so a paramecia for smooth movement could be used by her or other fruit could be related to time, in this case a paramecia. Already Frankie, the joiner of straw hats, who has a great knowledge to the point of fortifying himself, could use a paramecia or logia capable of creating wood or some other element for his creations. Finally Jinbi, who possibly because he is a master in fishman karate, who becomes even more powerful with his underwater techniques, he possibly would not give up those skills when he lost the ability to swim thanks to an Akoma no Mi. Let's end now with a big quote to Luffy's band's current travel companion, Thousand Sunny. As we know, it is the ideal ship of Frankie's dream, the Straw Hat Joiner, who is now part of the Straw Hat crew next to this incredible boat. And come on, as we know, if inanimate objects somehow consume an Akoma no Mi of the Zoan type, it starts to create life. So imagine if they found the Akuma no Mi of the Zoan type with the power of the lion and give it to the symbol of the lion that is on the ship, yes, just the symbol of the sunny that is in the bow of the ship, so then the thousand thousand own would have Akuma no Mi do lion to live the adventures with his band. But remembering that this could only be done with the lion symbol and not with the entire ship, because as we know, Akuma no Mi users cannot swim, so if an Akuma no Mi was given to an entire ship, it would possibly sink. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed our video, and I also ask you to subscribe to help us. I'm still learning English, so forgive us for any mistakes. Thanks for watching, and if you liked subscribe.